Hi guys, I'm Tristan and this is my 1986 Micro Camper. Hey guys, my name's Tristan and this is my Bedford Rascal from 1986 Micro Camper. I just want to give a little bit of background information about this particular vehicle and it's actually a pickup truck and not a camper. So this shell that we're actually sat in right now that I'm doing the video is actually a Roma home which you can buy and bolt onto the back of the thing. So it's a, it's a really cool vehicle because you can actually take the back of this off which I'm going to share in a later video. Then you can do any necessary maintenance underneath. So I've already had this off already because I did a lot of work to the engine and renewed loads of stuff in there. So now I've completed all the necessary work to the motorhome so now I can basically drive it without breaking down because that's not something you want to happen when you're in Scotland for example which is where I'm planning to go in the future with the thing. So as you can see it's got a full sink and a tap and there's actually just a little button below that you can press to turn it on and off and there's like a water tank underneath the sink which supplies the water which you've got to fill up like every time that you use it obviously. There is no shower in here but there is a shower that you can buy that you can connect outside and you can have like a like a tent which you can use the shower in there same with the toilet because there's no toilet in here uh, it's, you either have to go to a site that's got amenities or you have to carry your own porta potty toilet and put that in a tent again outside so there are some inconveniences to having such a small camper van it is tiny in here but it's also very roomy which sounds a bit strange, but the couch that I'm sat on right now can be transformed into a full-size double bed. So you can comfortably sleep two people in here and not have to worry about it being too cramped. The area over to the back where the door is, is actually lower down. The floor is lower by about one foot, which actually hangs off the back of the pickup. So someone of my size, which I'm six foot, I can stand up fully in the back there. So as you can see, I can stand up fully here and I've actually got headroom left. So then I can access the fridge, I can access the stove, and I can access the sink fine and any other storage that there is. So this little camper is really good because it can take it, you can take it absolutely anywhere and you don't have to worry about it being oversized, trying to get into parking spaces for example, which is usually an issue for larger vehicles, uh, especially in the small towns here in the UK. When I first bought the camper it had a TV in it as well, but I've since removed that because I've got bigger plans for this camper, I'm going to move the TV. It's going to be moved to somewhere at the other end of the camper instead of using it as a wall to separate the camper and the cab. So as you can see I've got a breakfast bar here so we've actually cut this down slightly so it's a little bit more comfortable to get in and out of because before it was bigger but the previous owner has actually closed off this space here and put a stereo system in so this is where the table would have gone which would have been up here you can no longer put it in there so this is all going to get changed as well because i'm going to move i'm going to make it so that this is all open so the table can go back up there 
The windows are just perspex rather than being actual glass, so they're much lighter, but they're not the nicest looking windows in the world either. Plus they don't open, which is quite annoying, especially in the summer months, as you can imagine when it gets hot. So instead, we've got these roof vents up here, which allow the air to escape, the heat to escape instead. Plus the back door there actually splits in half so you can have a barn door which is pretty cool as well. Underneath the seats that I'm sat on right now, there's a good chunk of storage actually. You can fit a load of things underneath there. You can fit things above the actual driver's space as well. And you've got storage at the back here. So you can store all your cutlery, cups, saucers, all that kind of stuff in there. You've got a full fridge, so you can store all your drinks, all of your perishable goods in there. We've got a sink in here, so you can have a, a quick wash in there or just wash your dishes in general. We have a stove and a grill in here, so we can have bacon and eggs if we want and make lots of cups of tea and coffee. And there's several 240 volt outlet sockets in here as well. So when we're connected to the mains, we can plug our phones in, can plug our laptops in, all that kind of stuff and charge everything up. Of course, what use is a camper if you can't use it off the grid as well? So it does have a giant leisure battery underneath the seat here, which powers everything in here, except it doesn't power the fridge, unfortunately, because the fridge only works on mains. So either I have to change that or adapt it somehow in the future so that I can actually use it when off grid, because not everywhere you go to has power. So this camper is actually in a bit of a rough shape at the moment interior wise. Exterior wise I wouldn't say it was particularly bad. Um, there are things obviously I want to change in the future and make look much better cosmetically. I want to even give it a bit more horsepower in the engine bay as well. Um, it's not that it struggles when we're driving it will comfortably sit at 50 miles per hour pretty much anywhere even up the steep hills. Um, it doesn't slow down too much which is really good the brakes are kind of what you'd expect for a vehicle from 1986 they're not very good so you have to kind of anticipate the junctions ahead or roundabouts and slow down in advance the performance of the rascal is different when this back's not on so obviously you can have this as a pickup truck or you can have it as a roma home so when you've got it as a pickup truck it's very light at the back end and it's actually rear wheel drive. So as you can imagine, every junction you pull out of, it just slips and slides everywhere. But when the back of this is on here, it drives much better. However, with the back on, the handling in the corners is not as good as you can imagine, but it's really cool either way because when you've got the back on, you can use it to actually live in. Whereas as a pickup truck, you can only put things in the back and just sit in the front and it's only got two seats and they're, they're only small seats so there isn't a great deal of room and for somebody that's as tall as I am at six foot the driving position is not the best so if you find interest in my Bedford Rascal micro camper and you want to see more just put down in the comments below what it is that you want to see and I'll make a video about it because there are so many topics on this thing that I could do, it's mind boggling. So I want to do the topics that people want to see. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you again in the next one. Cheers.